joining us today is Jeremy Brown. So, what were your ambitions as Taunton DMMP? Well, I think you have to look both locally and nationally. And locally, I want Taunton to be a successful place, a prosperous place where people want to live. And of course, there's always more to be done. And uh, there's a lot of development now and around the sort of uh, train station and things in Taunton that hasn't been completed. And I hope that will uh, be progressed soon. But overall, I think there is some sort of progress. I'm quite optimistic about things. You know, we've got low unemployment in the town. Uh, people want to live here, which is always a positive sign. There's some parts of the country where people are moving away from. In a way, if people are moving into a town, that shows that the town's getting something right and it's doing popular things. And I think overall, uh, I hope both locally, but in terms of my contribution to national politics, I've tried to uh, leave a legacy which people in Taunton will be pleased about. Do you feel you achieved what you wanted to? You can't please all the people all the time. I learned this very quickly. There'll be some people who like me and what I stand for and what I've done and other people who take the opposite view. Do you still have a future in politics or will you be moving on to something different? It's nice of you to ask. Um, well, um, I don't have an immediate future beyond the 7th of May, which is the date of the general election, and I cease to be the MP. I'll have been the MP for 10 years. 10 years and a day, I think, because the election 2005 is on the 5th <laughs> of May. And... Um, uh, and then actually my, my intention at the moment is I haven't decided for certain what I'm going to do next, yeah. but I think I would like to probably work in, um, in business and commercial environments and not try and do a political job. But I, never, I don't sort of rule it out right. forever. But what I don't, I don't really want to do is sort of hang around pretending to be an MP when I'm not an MP anymore. Did you agree with Nick Clegg when he made that U-turn on the university fees and now they've risen 200%? Um, uh, yes, from 3,000 to 9,000. Yes, indeed. So your percentage, indeed, it was 200, normally expressed in those terms. Um, well, I voted for it. And I, um, uh, what is interesting uh, is that a lot of the predictions at the time were that it would put off people from disadvantaged backgrounds. Mm. Actually, the opposite has happened. More people from disadvantaged backgrounds are applying to university than ever before. It is quite counterintuitive. Um, but I think there might be a few reasons for that, briefly. One of them is that... Um, Actually, the system that's put in place is better for students, including students from disadvantaged backgrounds, than I think quite a lot of the publicity uh, gave the impression it was. Because the threshold at which you start to repay the money is higher than it was previously, mm. if, you, if you manage to get a job below £21,000, you don't pay anything back. No. So it's a sort of notional debt, but most debts you have to... If, if I borrowed money for a car, I can't say, well, I'll only pay you back if I earn over £21,000. Yeah, um, and, and very quickly, and if you're earning, say, £25,000, you're paying back less per month under the new system than you were under the old system. Now, if you're earning £300,000, you'll pay back more, but then you could say that, why should you have a system which is subsidising people who earn three hundred thousand yeah. pounds? And one of the big arguments is that Labour supposedly wants to reduce the threshold, the, the, the annual fee from nine thousand to six thousand. Mm. Actually, the, the main benefit will be felt by high-earning graduates, yeah, exactly. Uh, but who will, who will, who are the only people at the moment who are repaying the debt in full. Um, and and the other, of course, is it does give it gives universities um, more reliable funding stream. I mean, universities are independent yeah. from from government. Uh, we have some of the best universities in the world in this country. It's a massive asset. And it may not be right for the two of you, but uh, you can make that decision yourself. Indeed. But most people, if they have the uh, academic aptitude and the inclination, there are a lot of advantages in going to university. Uh, and it will stand you in good stead, not just in the, way, in the workplace, but in life more generally for the rest of your life. And it's actually a, a pretty good investment compared to a lot of other things you might choose to spend money on in your late teens mm. and early 20s. Well, thank you for taking the time to speak to us, mm. and it was very nice to meet you. Nice to see you as well. <laughs> thank you very nice much. Nice to see you.